Welcome to the Bambanani series. Every child has a right to quality education and teaching inclusively can contribute to achieving that goal. This series of videos illustrates how teachers are teaching inclusively in South African classrooms. The videos focus on teaching numeracy and literacy in the foundation and intermediate phases. To support participation and learning by all learners, the teachers in the clips differentiate their teaching methodologies, content and assessment strategies, and classroom environment. Let's join hands to teach every child. I'm a maths teacher. I teach grade fives here at IR Griffith Primary School. What's a fraction, Daniela? How many pieces of a whole there is? Okay, how many pieces of a whole there is? She's on the right track. Let's develop it. Any specific things about fractions? Hey, Sanele. Okay, so it's a whole that's divided into parts, that's correct. Any characteristics you can tell me about the parts that we divide a whole into? Shailen? They're equal. Yes, they have to be equal. Miss Boerter taught a lesson on equivalent fractions today, where she chatted to learners about their previous knowledge of fractions and then related that to the idea of equivalent fractions and how they could explore and find their own equivalent fractions. I thought that using concrete objects would be lovely so I used slices of bread and I made an example with apples where I chopped up apples into eight parts and I think it was a very hands-on activity for the kids because they got to see what we do in class on the board and they got to touch and feel and experience it. Okay so I'm going to cut this apple in half first so now what do I have? What do I call these? Inam? I have how many halves? I've got two halves of my apple. What would happen if I decided to cut this half in half? Okay, so let's see. I have four parts of the whole apple. What do we call these four parts? Tell me. We call them quarters, right? Tell me. If I cut all these quarters in half. What on earth do I have now? Okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She started off with a very concrete way of introducing fractions where she cut up apples to illustrate what a fraction is and the division of these apples and how this related to their re really their prior understanding of fractions so she really ingrained that idea into her learners that fractions with fractions the parts need to be equal parts I let the learners um, learn and work together in groups because when they're working in groups, they get to feed off of each other's ideas. They get to reinforce each other's ideas. And you find that if it's in uh, mixed ability groups, the weaker ones find and get some support from the stronger ones and the stronger ones get a chance to actually extend themselves. Let's Maybe we could cut it into thirds. Wait, guys, I know. We can cut it into strips, like three strips. Strips? They're different shapes, but they're all equal. Yes. So you guys are strips and they're like different shapes. You guys are long and strips. Ours are like a square or a big town. So why are they equal? We all had a hole and cut it into different shapes, make it into a six. Yeah. So let's divide, let's cut them into twelve. Spurta finds that mixed ability grouping works really well in her class, especially in maths lessons. So we saw that she put her learners into mixed ability groups so that learners can help each other. She also supported this by walking around all the time and chatting to learners, really probing if they'd understood what was happening and um, supporting learners who needed the extra help. As the lesson progressed, they started working with fraction walls, which was more concept based and more accurate mathematics and right at the end learners got to write sums in their books and we formalized it so that they had an idea of concrete, informal and formal and abstract as well. <laughs> 